everybody and welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel my name is jess and today's video is going to be a collective haul so i wanted to do a collective haul i've been so excitedly waiting to do this for you guys i feel like i haven't done a haul on my channel in a very very long time obviously i did a book haul for this past month and i will say i have mainly been buying books however if you guys know me and you know me very well like in my real life i am the queen of recycling outfits now i hardly buy new clothing however when we moved into this new house i did donate a lot of my clothing and a lot of my pieces because they either a didn't fit me how i wanted them anymore and the thing is i talked about this a lot on my channel suffering with my body image talking about how i really struggled to let go of clothing that i used to love that no longer fits me um or no longer fits me the way I want it to or is too big or are too small and I've talked about the way that that made me feel for a very very long time and for a long time cloves had this really strong um I guess effect on me and my mental health and I really let it get to me anyway let's jump on into this video and talk about all the things I collected you guys probably don't know this actually but I had a really good friend of mine come down for the weekend and she stayed for the bank holiday weekend that we had in the UK but one of the things that we did is we went to Brighton and we went to an antiques fair so I'm going to start off by showing you guys what I picked up from now I honestly didn't pick up too many bits the first thing that I got is this bowl here now some people might think it's absolutely hideous because it's green I personally think it's stunning this is uranium glass so basically if you put a UV light on it it like reflects really crazily this is probably going to be a piece for the kitchen I the woman that was uh, selling this actually said like she would probably put a trifle in it and I was like what a good idea like at Christmas me and Luke are traveling home and we're gonna be seeing both of our families so maybe I'll take a dessert or something in this down with us so that we have something to give to like the Christmas dinner kind of vibe. One of the main things that I really wanted to get not necessarily at the antique store but just in general was a couple more vases. I have one vase and it is quite a big one. I think I got it from Matterland but it is pretty big so I wanted to get a couple of smaller options for like smaller bouquets or for a fresh flower picking um so i got these two in like a little set i think the guy charged me 15 pounds i think these are absolutely stunning i can't tell you what is special about these i don't think there is anything special i just personally really really liked them so you can see it kind of ombres from green to pink and it's got these really cute little indentations i thought they were really cute i had to get the medium and the small but yeah i love this one this one kind of reminds me of a piranha plant in <laughs> mario because of the feet but yeah, it kind of ombres from green to pink. I think they're super, super stunning. And I really love these. I think they're going to be a great feature in our house. And then the final thing that I got from the antiques fair were these really cute little, I think these are Chinese. These are super, super cute. Like they're very fragile. It's very difficult to get these that are undamaged because they are made with like metal and then filled in, I believe. So it's like very rare to get them undented. Um, they're not completely undented. Like they're not in pristine condition by any means, but they have these cute little stands that they come with they just look stunning and I think they're gonna look so pretty on my bookshelf they're so pretty I think my favorite ones are these ones the white ones with the cute little flowers on and again like you could probably use these as little tiny mini vases which I think was so cute for like fresh flower picking my friend Katie is also like the absolute queen at charity shopping and things like that so I did go charity shopping with her when she was here as well and to be honest I have not really found much from the charity shops near me um I have donated to the charity shops near me but I've not really found much for myself that I would buy however the weekend that she was here was just a great weekend and I ended up finding quite finding quite a few pieces that I absolutely love so let me show you guys the things that I picked up from the charity shops these do honestly need to go in the laundry so I'm doing some loads of laundry today so that's the perfect time to film this video but yeah let's start off with the one thing that I got from the charity shops that I'm not sure if I love or if I'm probably going to donate again um like redonate this here i brought this from the rspca um charity shop and it's so pretty like i do think it's super stunning i love these sleeves with the bell bottoms and it's got this really cool like wide neckline that ties in the back it's very sheer though and that's like my one thing that i'm unsure of is how sheer this top is but i think i just need to style it and once i style it maybe we'll see we'll see how i try it on the try on clips um but yeah this is the one that i am truly not sure on like i do like it but i'm not sure um but yeah i did i love the sleeves like this is the part that i'm in love with the sleeves but i will say i did try this on twice once i didn't particularly enjoy it like because of the cut but i think the top that i had on underneath wasn't right the second time i tried it i liked it but the one thing that i thought was that it would look so much better cropped so i might end up cutting it or tucking it in i think is probably going to be my best option with this one but it's super cute and there's also a 
really lovely tie in the back which is so adorable and this is from a brand called Mil mint velvet originally one thing that kind of flopped for me in the charity shop is i brought these one pair of trousers these are stradivarius these are in a size medium and i do really like them like they're so cool they've got the green panels and white and they've got some poppers down the side which you can undo um however these don't fit like they don't go up past my thighs like the thighs are too thick for these and I feel like I should have noticed that because of the way the waistband is at the front it just doesn't have a lot of stretch let's start off with the dresses so I got a couple of dresses like I said dresses are my comfort zone this one is honestly right up my street it's so cute I'm gonna be able to teach with this I'm so happy about this one and I think it was a steal I got it for seven pounds I just think it's absolutely stunning so it's this like bodycon dress but because of the size of it, it just kind of sits on my skin. It's not tight or anything like that, which makes it look a lot more casual, in my opinion. Like, because it's just sitting and there's a fair amount of excess material like around my stomach area that I can play around with. Um, I feel as though it kind of gives you more of a casual kind of vibe. And I really like it. And this was originally from a brand called Oasis. I also plan to do a video where I talk about my favourite kind of smart casual clothes. So if you guys would like to see that video, then let me know in the comments below because I have quite a few outfits that I stick to when I'm doing smart casual clothing and I would love to share them with you guys as like some options for you guys and the other dress that I got is so different for me like this is not by any means the usual dress that I would go for this is gonna look horrific with me holding it up but I'm gonna try it's kind of like a shirt dress is like the best way to put it but with structure it's got this panel across the waist that kind of sucks you in and looks really really good and um, this was originally a top shop piece and this was again in a size 12 i got this for six pound 50 um from the charity shop again um and this is what she looks like now this is hard to show because there's buttons that do it up but it's like flowier on the bottom and you've got this waist panel here that i was talking about can you see like a little panel across the waist and then you've got your top piece like this. You've got nice long, like a collared sleeve, nice long sleeves with a collar button at the top bottom. Um, and I honestly, I liked this on the hanger, but I wasn't obsessed. So I tried it on and I was, I was like shocked at how much I liked this on. I really did enjoy this one on. Okay, then I went a bit jumper crazy, but not jumper as in hoodies, because I'm gonna be realistic with you guys. Since moving into this house, I have worn one of my own hoodies and that was my university hoodie the rest have been luke's hoodies from the wardrobe by this i mean like knitwear and really cute pieces that i could wear now these i think are going to be great transitional pieces but also great pieces for autumn and again suitable for teaching and smart casual fits so i got this adorable sweater this is so cute what sweater this is a cardigan um i love the way the sleeves are rolled like i rolled I roll these as well I've kept them rolled but when I got it it was rolled as well but I really like the way they look rolled um this is what we look like this is just so cute it's such a pretty piece of knitwear I really liked it it was in a bigger size than I normally would go for my knitwear what size yeah it was in a large and so I was a little bit hesitant to get this one but I chucked it on over the top of the outfit that I was wearing um and I really loved it so I decided to pick it up then I got this this was a steal in my opinion I think this was smaller than I would normally go for right yeah this is a Hollister originally a Hollister hoodie look how cute it's got this chunky little turtleneck so comfy so cozy again I've worn this one already um these beautiful like knitted sleeves and this beautiful like knitted body I love this so much it's so soft but it's not that kind of material where it's so soft that it'll probably go funny in the wash it's like just soft like it's so lovely um and I just loved this like I couldn't let it go I didn't know it was Hollister originally I picked it up and I really liked it um but yeah originally it was a Hollister jumper and it was this is a size small which I was kind of like mm, about but like I said medium is normally like oversized for me so this fit perfectly finally here's for one of my most worn purchases from the charity shops that I got that weekend and this is originally an m &S collection item um <laughs> and I love it I wear these long cardigans almost every single day to work like can't even lie to you um and to school when I'm teaching. Like, I literally wear these long cardigans every day to school when I'm teaching. I love this one because it's so unique because it has a hood. It's so soft, it's so cute. It was originally an MS collection, like I said. Again, these sleeves are rolled. These are sewn rolled though, so like they're meant to be like this. Um, It's just so cute. 
I've worn this numerous ways. I love the colours on it. Um, and I've worn this numer numerous ways, as I said. This is super, super, super soft, super casual and comfy. This was a medium, so again, the size that I would have gone for myself. I'm gonna do a couple of bits that I actually got before that weekend with Katie. These excuse the fact that these ones have toothpaste on the front of them. But yeah, I got a couple of pieces from Tesco's because they were doing an end of season sale, as most places are in the UK right now. But I have never had a comfy pair of shorts like these these are literally wrinkled i got these for four pounds um i love the thick elastic i love the length of the short is really nice as well they're super soft they're like this kind of easy quick dry material but super soft I've got these epic trousers these are so nice look at them with a blue panel down the side i love these so much these are wide leg trousers just love them i love the drawstring waist which is the one thing that i wasn't sure i was going to love about these again i got these in a size 12 they're so good they're so nice i love them i'm obsessed with them these are some of my favorite pants i've ever trousers that i have ever brought um and i just think they look so good on me personally and then i made a shoe purchase recently now i don't really buy shoes that often but a lot of my trainers have holes in slash um are worn so much like to death i'm literally wearing my vans right now that i wear when i teach 24 7 and i end up getting i really wanted the high top converses but they're quite expensive and i saw these from a company called socal and co california that look like this um i saw these that look very similar to high top platforms they are platformed high top trainers but they're just from the SoulCal and co company and i saw that they had super super high ratings and reviews and i can report these are comfy i do like them i still need to break them in a little bit i feel but these are really nice let's continue with the clothing so today i went to matalan they had an end of season sale and i love matalan in the uk guys if you guys live in the uk i don't know if matalan is anywhere else like if it's a europe thing or if it's just a uk shop but if you guys live near in Matterland and or if you guys do a smart casual kind of job, definitely go to Matterland and check out their clothes. They have so many great clothes for honestly, I feel great prices and very good quality in my opinion. I got some adorable pieces. Some of them can be well on, worn during teaching and some of them can't. I do nowadays try to add things to my wardrobe that can be worn in my daily life as well as for teaching but obviously you need some pieces that you're not going to wear when you're teaching as well i just think it's necessary um but this is the top in question guys how bloody adorable is it i just love it i love it so much it gives you that square neckline that's super super flattering it flares out at the bottom super cute i love the colors in it it's summery but it's fun i got this in a size 12 and it was £4.50 and it was originally, it was originally £15 and it was reduced to £4.50. I just love it. It feels super soft. I will say the sleeves are really sheer as well as the bottom part, but I'm just so happy about this. I think it's so cute and it just looks adorable. Then I got this adorable summer dress. Look at it. It's stunning. You can't really see it on off the body. But it's so cute. I actually went in the changing rooms with 10 items. And I came up with five, which I was thankful for for my bank account's sake. But I went to a changing room with all size 12s and I came out knowing that some things had to be a size smaller. So this was one of those things, this dress, when I tried it on, it was just too big in a size 12. So I ended up picking up the size 10. It's great length for me. Um, dresses like this, I always have to be kind of co conscious about the length because once it hits my hips and bum, it takes a lot of material up. And a lot of the time my ass is on display and I don't like that. So, yep. This was originally £15. I got it for £10.50. Then another dress that I picked up. This one's going to be great for teaching because the neckline comes up quite high, as you can see. Um, and this is this beautiful, like, midi max maxi length dress in this beautiful pattern. It's super similar to another dress I have from Matterland that I adore. Just that the sleeves are different. Again, very black bell and bell shaped and flowy you've got this nice kind of like uh what do you call this this material here like you know when it's like cinching like that um again i tried this one in a 12 and it was just a bit too big so i got a 10 but this was meant to be 20 pounds and i got it for 12 pounds i believe which is so good then i also picked up this from the sale now this 
is a shocking like turn of events. This is not something that I would wear when I'm teaching. It's just a little bit too short in my opinion. This was a shock purchase for me because I can never buy skirts that I like or that fit me well or that don't literally have the bottom of my ass hanging out. So this was such a big shock, but I love it. Look at this. I loved the pattern to start off with. Um, then I looked at the length and I was like, that's a really good length. Um, if it cut like where it was flat, I would not have got it. But this extra bit of length is so good. It gives you the coverage that you want. This one I got in a, this one is in a size 12 and it was originally £12.50, but I got it for £8.50 and I love it. I think it'd be cute with just like a plain black t-shirt, which is probably how I styled it in the try-on clips. I'm hoping that these trousers fit. Now I tried them in a size 12 and I got them in a long leg. However, the long leg was too long. Um, so, and also the 12 didn't do up. So I try, I picked up the size 14 in a regular length, which regular length I think is like 30 inches. But yeah, these are what they look like. These are the straight cut professional trousers that they do. They were eight pounds, so good for some professional trousers. So yeah, eight pounds. Um, and I'm hoping these fit. And like I said, I'm looking for some professional black trousers that fit me better than the ones I already have. The ones I already have are from Matalan though, but I think I might have brought them in like the wrong leg length. Um, but yeah, I am hoping these fit me nicely. Finally, the thing that honestly I saw on the hook and I was like, I shouldn't pick that up and I shouldn't try it on. I know I shouldn't because I'm gonna end up buying it and it's not on the sale and I came in to shop the sale. And that is this. Tell me this is not like the cutest thing you've ever seen. I love how the short, the front is shorter than the back. I love this kind of like super relaxed collar with this small, slight deep V. Again, I wouldn't have to wear a top under this, I don't think, when I'm teaching. Um, I got this in a size medium and this was £17, but honestly, I have no regrets. It's so soft, it's so comfy. I could wear it with sports leggings, with black jeans, with blue jeans, like I just love it. And I love this sage green colour, it's so cute. I can roll the sleeves. The one thing that I am concerned about is when I wash this because it's kind of like fluffy. And that just stressed me out because sometimes fluffy stuff doesn't come out of the uh, washing machine very nicely, in my opinion. The final thing that I got from Matterland isn't clothing, but I just picked up some more hangers because we didn't have enough. These are like some beautiful, like high quality wood ones. Okay, then the final place that I went to was Superdrug. I made two separate trips. So in the first trip, I did mainly hair care. So I picked up a, another bottle of the shampoo that I'm currently using and I am enjoying so far. And that is the Herbal Essence Bio Renew Purifier and Hydrate Silicon Free Shampoo. And this is in the scent Strawberry and Mint. I will say sometimes this leaves my hair feeling a bit too dry however with the rotation that i'm doing at the moment with my hair mask like my conditioning mask it's been working really well then i also restocked myself on the herbal essence by renew essence of life frizz control oil mist with hemp seed oil and aloe i find this actually works well like you just have to shake it up it goes all the same color just spray it on your hair and it stops your hair from being frizzy i think this does work in my opinion and i'm someone who i feel like my hair goes super frizzy at times but i definitely feel like this does work and I just give a little light spritz every now, oh, every now and again, particularly the day after I've washed my hair. And Katie, when she was here, she used this, the Batiste Instant Hair Refresh Dry Shampoo Volume. I have not heard anyone talk about this, but this is like dry shampoo that gives your hair volume and life again. Like it doesn't just weigh down your hair. I love it. It was so, like so good. And she was using this and I just quite literally brought the exact same bottle as she had. Didn't care about the scent or anything like that so good luke has also been using this like he's been stealing this because he's been enjoying it and i also just introduced him to dry shampoo the other day because he didn't have time to wash his hair before work and i was like oh do you want to just like have a spritz of dry shampoo we've both been a huge fan of this one and i actually personally feel like it makes my hair feel way less chalky than the original batiste i do own the original batiste but it makes my hair feel so chalky that i don't really enjoy it and it makes my scalp kind of itchy this one doesn't I picked up a, another tube of the e.l.f. Well Brow Tinted Eye, Eyebrow Gel. I love this stuff. I use it every day. It's a great dupe for the uh, Benefit um, Tinted Brow Gel. I forgot what it's called, but it's a great dupe for that. I got the shade Brunette. Now, this is going to seem weird, but my milk makeup blush stick that I got when I was in America is all gone. I've literally finished it <laughs> in the past year. So I thought I was going to try a drugstore dupe. Originally, I was going to get the putty one, but I really like the fact that the milk makeup one was in a stick 
So I picked up this. I've never tried it. I've never really been interested, but I got this e.l.f. one. Um, this is in the shade Glimmering Guava. It looks like this. I've swatched maybe a bit too much. Okay, I'm not sure if I'm going to love this, guys. There you go. That's what it looks like. It's very similar to the shade of the Milk one. Um, however, I will say... I'm probably going to find issues with this because of the glitter in it. Like, there is straight glitter in this. Then, another thing that I went in there for is to restock on my face SPF. I use the Bondi Sands Daily Moisturiser Face SPF 50. Um, the fragrance-free one. This is also water resistance. Um, but yeah, I use this every day. And my one is literally on its last drag. So, yeah. Got that. Finally, I got some nail polishes because I've been starting to do... Or nail varnish, sorry. I got some nail varnish um, because I've been starting to do my nails again myself using my Builder Gel. But I picked up a couple of different colours of the Barry M nail varnishes, which are some of my favourites from the drugstore. I got this one, which is in free. Um, I got a Jelly. Are they both? Oh, these are all different formulas from Barry M. But I got one of the Jelly High Shine nail paints in the shade 313 Cactus. Such a beautiful green. Then I got one of the Inner Flash Quick Dry Nail Paints from them as well. And this is in 311 Patient Purple. Love it. Look how pretty that is. Got this one, which I've never seen this line from them before. And this is Velvet Matte Nail Paint um, in 242 Pink Charm. I thought this would be a great option for me because I'm not a huge fan of my nails being white, nor am I a huge fan of my nails being beige. But I thought this would be a really cute kind of like natural colour to wear um as like a soft pink shade okay guys i am back i think yeah two days later i'm back because i did do a little bit of shopping today and i just want to show you guys what i got because i will have a testing video coming out soon for these products went to boots and by the way guys boots now has 10 percent student discount so if you're a student like me or if you shop using your student discount quite often um, then definitely go into Boots now, not just Superdrug, because the reason why I honestly go to Superdrug more than Boots is to take advantage of the 10% discount that I get as a student. And now that they have it in Boots, I think that's amazing. I see this brand every time I go in there, and since it first came in there, I was so intrigued by it. It seems to be like a super, it's like a very like clean girl aesthetic brand slash you know a very natural like my skin but better brand that seems to celebrate in just having light coverage and just altering your skin a little bit to help you feel a little bit more confident and i love that and i've been loving thinner coverage so this brand is called 17. all of these products by the way cost me 12 pounds and i got was the 17 second skin enhancing foundation this just seems like it's going to be the equivalent to what i would call like a tinted moisturizer to a very 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 light coverage foundation the 17 second skin enhancing foundation i got mine in the shade shade 002Y meaning yellow undertones would say this definitely has a yellow undertone I feel like this is just it does give a little bit of coverage I did just swatch some on the back of my hand it's not here here is blush but here is the foundation like it gives a touch of coverage nothing too insane and I also to go with that picked up the 17 skin enhancing uh, second skin enhancing concealer and I got this one in the shade 002P I think that means pink Oh crap, that was probably a really bad decision for me. But the thing is, like in the tube, the yellow looked very, very, very dark. So I didn't want to get one that was too dark, but now this is very pink. Okay, and interestingly enough, this one has definitely got a lot more coverage than the foundation, which I kind of like because I like a more full coverage, like a fuller coverage concealer. I got two more face products. I got these. I've been wanting to try the Revolution versions of these as well as the e.l.f. versions. But these were real cheap, like real cheap. I'm in my cream to liquid blush era, guys, like the era. Um, so I obviously had to try out their liquid blush. Their powder blushes looked really nice as well. So this is their Color Glow Cream Blush in the shade 030 Lemonade. That's what it looks like. It's very, very, very very liquidy like almost balmy kind of texture to it um and then to go with that i also got their light reflect liquid highlighter i have wanted a liquid highlighter back in my collection for a long time that is stunning that's exactly what i love in a highlighter i went a bit off the tracks here i don't know why i chose these two products in particular out of the rest of the line i did want to try the powder but i'm really trying to go down to two powders this year 
um but the powder did look good and also the powder blushes they looked good if i like this stuff i'm definitely going to go back and buy a couple more things from this brand and test it out a little bit more and thoroughly but i saw this the another level vo another level volume mascara and i got mine in 010 intense black finally this is one i didn't need and i do always say in my videos like i'm only gonna have one tinted brow gel but i saw this and i was like i've got to try it it's a precise definition tinted brow gel by 17 i got mine in the shade 030 brown instead of dark brown this applicator looks so interesting in the store i just had to try it it's such a teeny teeny tiny applicator and it just looked so interesting and it has the microfibers in like the elf one that is everything for this collective haul i have been filming for 54 minutes now um but yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here let's see more videos from me and i'll catch you guys all in my next one bye